In chapter 6, we need to be reminded that this is wisdom literature, not the law. Solomon tells his son not to loan other people money. Now this is a dad passing down his experiential wisdom to his son, but it's not the law as like with other types of scripture, because scripture also tells us to be generous with our money. So wisdom literature is to impart wisdom, not necessarily the law. In this chapter, he also encourages his son to develop a strong work ethic and to deal honestly with others. There's actually a funny passage in here, or at least to me. Chapter 6, verse 6 says this, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. Well, what he's actually saying is he's referring to the idea that we are not on, if we're not on our toes, we will fall into traps. The idea of being a sluggard isn't as much about being lazy, even though that is also unwise, but being irresponsible. So study the ant who is always busy and make sure to store up and save. I don't know why it's so funny to me, but I kind of like the idea of being likened to an ant. <laughs> an ant, wow, come on, I love it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, may we be more like the ant and be people that are t attentive to things and attentive to your ways. And may we not be sluggish in life, but we would pursue not just wise things, but we would pursue you. So I pray for everybody that we would all be pursuers and we'd be like the ant. In Jesus' name, amen. Why don't you read chapter six and be an ant, not a sluggard.